Hello, you beautiful, gorgeous beings of light, of shining light. I just wanted to take a second to say hi. I'm out here in the forest again. I'll do a date stamp on here. Today is the 21st of May, 2020. And I am again in the Killarney National Forest, if anybody's wondering where I am in Ireland. And before I get started in the talk, I just wanted to take a second to um, tell, tell everybody, you know, like, I've been coming on here now for about a month, maybe two months now, doing these, like, little video blogs, and um, I was kind of guided to do this by um, when this whole thing happened with the COVID. I was guided to come in and just, like, say hi to everybody. Hi, Sue, how are you? And um, I was just, this was what I was guided to do. And along the way, it's become kind of a thing that I really enjoy. I love this. Every day I kind of be like, well, not every day, but when I'm coming out to the forest and doing my yoga and my exercise and stuff, I have been, try I'll, I'll take a, I'll ask my guys before I leave, is this something that you want me to talk to, to the collective about? And I'll pull a couple of cards and off I go into the forest. And, um... I just want you to know that like I don't know everything and I'm not like uh, a person that knows all of all that needs to be said and so I just want you to know that what I'm telling you is kind of my truth I'm speaking my truth when I'm coming out here and guiding you as much as well as I can but you can you don't have to believe anything I say hi Beverly nothing I you don't have to take anything so basically I'm just saying I'm gonna share with you what I'm being shown, what's being, what's happening in my collective, what's happening around me. And um, you can take it and you can, and whatever resonates with you, take it. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. And just leave it at that and know that I'm not here to just be like the all person knowing everything because I'm not. And I know that. And I just wanted you guys to be aware of that too before I go any farther because I've been doing a lot of vlogs and I just... I've been bringing people out here to the forest because it's so peaceful in here and um, I just wanted to bring a little bit of what I have, what I have surrounding me to you guys as well. So that's why I've been doing it here in the forest. And so today I, um, I picked a couple of cards out of my two fairy decks that I've been picking, that I've been choosing from lately. and. They seem to have a message that's extended from yesterday, <laughs> and um, it, uh, it's all about like the talk that I had yesterday. So if you didn't see the message that I had yesterday, go back. I think it's vlog number 26. It's called The New World. Go in and check that out. It's not very long. And um, it, then this is just like an, a little bit of an extension onto it. So yesterday we talked about, um, it, it, this is the time now to make a wish. This is the time now to like dream the dream of what you want the world to be like when we all go back to like a new normal like whatever our life is going to be like when when because things are being lifted people are being allowed to go back to schools and different things are happening all over the world in different places it's different everywhere you live but people are starting to be able to go back to life a little bit and so what i was told yesterday or what i was shown yesterday was this is the time right now to decide what is it that you want to go back to. Do you want to go back to the way it used to be? Because that can happen as we can do that if you want. Um, do you want to um, change something? Do you want to go back into a new way? And so like what I'm seeing is this is the time to re think about like really think about what it is that you want to happen in the new way in the new earth like do you want to form a community um i was talking i know beverly's on here she had a uh, they were having a talk last friday night at her gathering it's on love unity and she has a gathering every friday evening at 7 p.m gmt time which is like london ireland that kind of time and um you can kind of pick out what time it is she has it every every um friday night so go over to um to Beverly's page and join her group and um, 
join her little thing that she has on Friday nights. So they were on there on Friday night. There was only four of them on, and they were talking about, uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could like form some kind of like new kind of living, like new communities where we can be self-sustaining and we can all do our thing. Like we have our own little private houses and we can all do um, like our thing, like whatever it is that makes our heart sing. And then we still belong. We have friends and there's like a main like lodge or something where you can go to if you want to be around people and have chats and talk to people and be with people and share and do like gatherings and singing and drumming or whatever makes like makes your heart sing and um so they were kind of dreaming up last friday night what they would like in the new world and what it would be what wouldn't it be amazing so this is what we're we're in a time of we're in a time of thinking about what it is that we want as we move forward into this new way and so then today I drew these two cards and the one came in upside down and the other one came in forward. Now this one was, this one is called the Sorcerer. He's kind of ominous looking. When I looked at him, I just kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to go to him. He kind of reminds me of that guy. I'm trying to think of the movie. Huck, what is his name? Um... It's not Huckleberry Finn. I know. <laughs> I can't even think of the name of this guy and what he's reminding me of. Um, that guy. It's. I, I know that after this is all over with, I, I'm going to be kicking myself because I'm going to be knowing what I'm talking about. It's the guy that goes in and he... It's not like Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. It... It's the guy that's like the sorcerer and he changes and stuff like that. So anyways, I don't want to go into that story because I can't figure out, I cannot remember the name of that movie. But, um, yeah, so that's that fella. And then I got this one. This one is a different kind of card. This one is called the He the Fairy Sword. And this one is number four. So you can see it's like a, it's a sword. And I drew this card upside down. And the meaning is different, whether you draw it right side up or, or upside down. Rumple still skin. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> that's what he looks like. Does he not? He looks like Rumple still skin. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, like, if you come to me, just know that there's going to be consequences kind of thing. That's the feeling I'm getting from him. <laughs> So, yeah, it's Rumpelstiltskin is what I was trying. Thank you, Susie, for telling me that name that I'm trying to come up with. And um, so, and this one, basically, it came upside down. So it was basically saying that it's the same energy. It means the same thing, except for um, something is being blocked to, to do whatever it is that you need to do in this energy. So I'm going to read to you what they say in the books about these two cards and then I'm going to tell you what I think they mean in our situation now okay so the first one is the sorcerer so I'm gonna hold him up and he is number 27 and he is about he's interesting help true magic and consequences so I'm gonna have you look really close at him it says look at this person are you surprised? He's such a dull little man. Funny hat, funny nose, big ears, not paying the slightest bit of attention to you, you would think. Look again. There he is, nestled in the tree roots. Which is really funny because <laughs> I'm recording you right now. The, the camera is nestled in the root of a tree. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Um, I think that's kind of funny. So, um, nestled in the tree roots, listening, thinking, just above to move, about to move, and when he does, you might want to duck. Sometimes the most powerful beings appear to be the most insignificant. The sorcerer is one of those beings. He doesn't create flashy illusions, and he doesn't astound with feats of magic. But if you need to call on a powerful being as you travel into fairy, he is the one to seek out. Approach him with caution. He is really not concerned with the everyday struggles and endeavors of fairy. 
let alone the human world. He works for his own ends, but he may help you if it suits his purpose. Think carefully before you ask him for anything. His help could have interesting consequences in the future. If you meet him, it may be best to nod respectfully and pass on. On the other hand, when he turns up, you may know exactly what you need to ask for. If you have an intuitive flash about why the two of you have come together, then by all means ask your question and see what happens, as long as you are prepared for the consequences. So what I'm getting here is that he's here to help us. He's here to help us if we need help. Um, but they just want you to be weary and aware that like, if you ask for his help, that there may be consequences. Like you might not like exactly everything that he helps you with. It may not come about the way that you expected, basically. And then this one, the fair, the he, the fairy sword. This one is number four and it's in the Brian Froud deck. And this one is, it says the presence of the fairy swords master in a reading can indicate that there is or there is a need for clear and focused will and determination to carry through on decisions, even if much effort is required. So what I'm feeling is like there's a lot of um, work that needs to be done now because now that we know what we're, we're, we're kind of forming what we are, want in, in the world, we need to focus this and we need to carry out the decisions that we've been making. And we need to like be very focused and very clear about what we want and what we don't want. And it will take a lot of effort among a lot of people. And then it's saying, or he can tell us that such will and strength is present in regard to the issues under consideration. We need to consider how he is expressing his will and strength and how the expression may be in enhanced or improved. It says, if the, it, it is the singer's energy that enables us to burst the bonds of an outgrown way of being and move on to the next level. He indicates that this is a time to take action based on clear spiritual will. His presence indicates great strength and great potential for good. It also reminds us that if we call upon him, we will receive assistance. The presence of this card in a reading radiates strength and willpower to the cards around it. And then because I picked this in the opposite way, I just wanted to say what this card means when it's upside down, which is the way that it was chosen. So it says, like all the singers, this card does not have a reverse meaning as such. Because he of the fiery sword is present in full measure throughout the universe on all levels, reversed here speaks of an archetypal, an arch, archetypal energy blocked or unaccepted by the querent or another individual in the issue. And it's basically telling you that um, when he of the fairy sword is reversed, the question we need to ask ourselves is how may I free the st free strength and will in my life and allow the vital force to flow through? So they're basically saying that some people are having a hard time with allowing to move forward, to allowing the new world, the new way to come by, and they're kind of stopping themselves and they're kind of blocking themselves from it. And so they're just saying that you can, and then I think that's why this fella came on, he came there as well, he came with the cards. He's saying like, if you need a little bit of help, I'm here to help and I'm here to assist you. But don't just play games with me. Don't just like ask me to help you if you're not ready and prepared to do so. Because there'll be consequences if you're just playing games. He doesn't want anybody, if you want, to, if you want his help, take it. But if you don't, just move on. And so that's what I've got from the cards today. And so it's just a little bit of an extension onto yesterday's make a wish and um, dream the dream of what we want. Now they're basically saying, you know, we need to start taking action and we need to start setting the seeds of what it is that we want to have happen when everything opens back up again and we're all kind of going back to normal. So that's really all I had to say. Um, that's all that they had been showing me for today. And 
I just want to like leave you with telling you that I love each and every one of you that has been coming on. You've all, there's different people that have been friends with me and we have chats and then there's people that have just come on and put posts up and there's people that I don't even know that are watching me and that are getting something out of it. And I just want you to know that I love each and every one of you. And um, some of you have triggered me <laughs> big time. And in a way, I thank you for that because um, whenever you're triggered, then you need to look at something. And so whenever something has come up and I've been really bothered by something, I look at it now and I totally go in, I hold it through, like hold it in between my bones, like Nora Creed has taught me through the transference healing. She's just like, if something is bothering you, take that feeling, take that whatever it is that's bothering you, detach it from the actual person that triggered you and really feel that deep into your bones, like deep into your hips, bring it down and hold it for like about two or three minutes and really, really hold it with intent that you want, even though if it doesn't feel right and feel good. And hold that feeling. And then you can take the Saint Germain flame and you can burn up the whole um, thing that's been bothering you. And you can finally let it go. And so when someone triggers you, let that happen. Thank the person that tr triggered you. Look at whatever you're being triggered at. And then you can clean and clear and let it go. And then a little by little, you'll be, it'll be easier for you. Life will be easier for you. It's not like you'll have to go into like the whole drama all the time of what is going on in your life. And oh, why, poor me. And why is this happening to me? And you can just kind of keep going and keep your vibration as high as possible. So I'm going to love you all and leave you. And so I think... Um, there isn't really much else to say other than if you don't know who I am, go ahead and check out my website because my website isn't really a selling site. It's just a site that has everything in there about me. All the videos that I do are in there. I put everything up like what I'm doing today goes into, the, into my blog. I've been putting posts up but nobody's seeing them because I don't think anybody really knows that they're there. <laughs> so go into my website and... Just check out who is Robin Nicole and what do I have to offer the world because I have a lot to offer and a lot to give and I have and I want to be there for you and help everybody along the way. So I'm going to ask you guys to keep shining your light while I keep shining mine. And I love you all and I'll see you the next time. Love you very, very much.